Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection 2 pack of Jackpot and Sights. Now, I ordered this set along with the other Golden Disc Collection Transformers back in September. And Jackpot and Sights, along with Road Ranger and Puffer, showed up last week. I mean, they were due to arrive in March, and surprise, I got these two sets already. Now, there's really not much to look at with the packaging, other than, we, I guess, when you put them all together, you're going to form a giant golden disc. Ooh. So, we'll go over those guys later on, but we're going to focus on Jackpot and Sights for this video. Here's the box they come in. You got a section of the Golden Disc. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Golden Disc Collection. Uh, back of the box, you actually see images of Jackpot and Sights in both robot mode and vehicle and weapon modes. So now let's get these figures out of the box and see if I actually did hit the jackpot. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get this set opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see they do come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. They also come with a impact blast effect, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. A rifle for jackpot that is a straight-up repaint of Studio Series 86 jazzes, and of course, you've got jackpot and sights themselves. Now, Jackpot and Sights here are modern versions of the Generation 1 Action Master Jackpot and Sights from 1990. And right here is what I'm talking about. Make exclusive figures the lesser known characters. Quit using mainline characters such as Dirge and Ramjet for your exclusive, but figures like this that really only appeal to us G1ers or, you know, the completionists. I think figures like this, these are the ones that need to be exclusives. Now, Hasbro was spot on on using the molds for these two. The Studio Series 86 Jazz for Jackpot and the Battlemaster Siege Taraxodon for Sights. Man, those are dead on to the original toy. Collar schemes right, paint applications are right, Kudos Hasbro, with this set you nailed it. So let's start things off by taking a closer look at Sights first. So here we have Sights, and as I said earlier, he is a straight up repaint of Siege Taraxodon, who is also repainted into Siege Terror Daxtel. And yes, before anybody says anything, I traded out the head, wings, and feet of these two, because man, that black and purple looks so good. So yeah, straight up repaint. But Hasbro was a little bit lazy with sights here. Take a closer look at the head sculpt. The sculpted details look nice all along. Same with the wings. But unlike the other two, they did not give sights here any extra paint applications. If you look at the other two figures here, 
Both of these guys have painted in eyes, painted crests, and on the back there are paint applications on the wings. So not sure why they didn't give sights any because he definitely would have benefited from that. But still, he looks pretty much dead on to his Action Master self from 1990, especially when you transform him into his weapon mode. Now, he's supposed to be an axe, but as a gun, he is dead on to the Action Master version, and I think that is pretty slick. Now, this blast effect right here is compatible with sights and how this works. It's an impact blast effect, so you've got three slots right there. Rather, you have a hole, a slot, and another little slot that just peg in onto the wing, which is now the axe blade. So once you get that pegged in, it looks like you've got an impact right there. So you guys have seen that before, so still pretty cool. One of my more favorite blast effects. So that's it. That is pretty much all there is to talk about sights. Now let's take a look at Jackpot. Now, as I said earlier, Jackpot here is a repaint of Studio Series 86 Jazz with a brand new head sculpt. I mean, repainted right down to the blaster. So let's go ahead and give him his blaster so you can take a look at the two together. So there you go. So you can't really ask for a better mold to be based off of than the Studio Series 86 Jazz because that is a great Transformers figure and the mold works great for Jackpot because if you take a look once again at the original G1 toy, this mold is spot on to the way that figure looked, especially with the color scheme, the yellow, black, and red that's hid right there inside the chest piece. You can barely see it, so it's really cool that they made that red so it looks more like that G1 toy. Now, like I said, the one major difference is he does have a brand new head sculpt, and therein lies the one problem I have with this figure. The head sculpt does not look like it was pieced together correctly. If you look right here at the top and on the chin strap, it's it's off. It's off center. It's like one side is taller than the other, and it just looks like crap. And I hate that because I really, really like this figure and the way he looks, but I just can't unsee the head. And I don't understand why they had the two pieces go together, you know, side by side when most, most of the other figures we get, the head is pieced together front to back. And I'm not sure how they did it because there's no line at all with the orange visor right there. So, man, that just sucks. It just, it takes away a lot from the figure, in my opinion. I just, I really don't like it. Another complaint is the Autobot logo right there. On the original figure, it's the Autobot logo with the white outline. This is kind of a dark red on black, and it just really doesn't look that good. But fortunately, I have a way to fix that. And there we go. Much better toy hacks to the rescue. Now, other than the head and the Autobot logo, the rest of the figure looks great. I mean, I just love that color scheme. Articulation, the same as Studio Series 86 Jazz. Head on a ball joint, up, down, complete 360. Arms complete 360, out and in. Bicep swivel. No wrist rotation, at least I don't think so. Nope, no wrist rotation. Waist rotation, legs forward, back, knee bend, rotation at the hip, and ankle tilt. So, like I said, they couldn't have picked a better figure to base Jackpot on. So now let's take a look at Jackpot in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Jackpot looks all right. I'm not that big a fan of his vehicle mode compared to his robot mode because it just looks a little plain. I mean, he loses most of his orange other than there on the headlights. So the vehicle is mainly black and yellow, kind of looks like a yellow jacket with orange translucent windows. And I, I hate those. You guys know how I feel about translucent windows. 
And I feel that these just show off way too much of the robot junk there on the inside. And do not like that yellow hinge right there either. So, you know, it is what it is. And these clips, oh my God, I hate the wheel clips that Hasbro uses. If those were black, it would have looked so much better. Now, another big complaint I have with vehicle mode, just like Studio Series Jazz, the whole top section is the translucent plastic. It's just painted. So there's always that fear that you're going to break this. I know there are quite a few people that broke their Studio Series Jazz figure because of that clear plastic. Now, my Jazz here has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals, but you can see how these two look together. Now, though I'm not a big fan of the vehicle mode for Jackpot, Jackpot never had a vehicle mode to begin with, so this isn't too bad. I just, you know, I just wish it was executed just a little bit better. Now, you can add the weapons, like sights, right here to the top of the vehicle. There's a hole right there in the center. So you can put sights on like that for a weapon. And unfortunately, there's no way to attach both weapons. If that gap there, if you flip the head back, there is a gap. Let me see. I tried this out earlier. No, you can't flip the head back. Well, let's try this. So if I put the sights in like so with the pterodactyl head facing out, and then... No, it still doesn't work. If that was just a little bit wider, or a little bit, yeah, if the blaster was a little bit wider, it could fit in there, and you could store both weapons at the same time. But I'm not that big a fan of the weapons stored on the vehicle mode, so we'll just go with it as it is. So there you go, guys. There is Jackpot in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection Jackpot and Sights with Earthrise Optimus Prime. Once again with Studio Series 86 Jazz and Generation Selects Ricochet. The Amazon exclusive Transformers Golden Disc Collection 2-pack of Jackpot and Sights is what I want to see more of from Hasbro exclusive figures based upon obscure characters from later on in G1. We have seen non-stop releases of 84 to 86, but the latter years get no love whatsoever, and there's a lot of characters that I think Hasbro can make using existing molds. I mean, prime example is Jackpot here. He is damn near a perfect copy of his Action Master self. Now, yes, I do have a couple of complaints with the figure. The main one, of course, being the lopsided head sculpt, but, you know, it's nothing I can't live with. Plus, how cool is it to see Action Masters as transformable robots? I mean, we got Croc a few years ago in the Titans Return line, and we just got Mainframe with the Ark, so, come on, Hasbro, there are a lot of untapped characters that you need to show some love to. So, there you go, guys, the Amazon exclusive Golden Disc Collection set of Jackpot and Sights. So, does the Amazon exclusive Transformers Golden Disc Collection 2-pack of Jackpot and Sights belong in your collection? Well, if you're an old-school G1 fan... Absolutely. I love the fact that we're finally getting some Action Masters interpreted as modern Transformers. And I do want to point out one thing. I didn't notice until I was comparing robot modes between him and Jazz that I forgot to transform this section right here on his lower leg. As you see, that's what Jazz has. But, to be honest, I think he looks better like that. It kind of adds to the Action Master Streamline look. So that's how I'm going to leave mine. So yeah, I like this figure. He's not great. He's not perfect. The head sculpt really irks me, and I'm not a huge fan of the vehicle mode, but still, we have a modern, transformable Action Master. And as of this recording, these figures are still available 
on Amazon.com. And I think they're only like 22 bucks. I'm going to put a link to get one for yourself in the description of this video. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I gotta give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's your support that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.